Hey guys, in this episode I'm going to show you how to add depth to a portrait photo. Hey guys, and welcome to Calvin Designs. My name is Calvin and I design. I guess that's why they call it Calvin Designs. Uh, click right here to subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel and get all these episodes as they come out. And click right here to uh, sign up to my newsletter and get all the raw files to follow along on every newsletter for free. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to add depth to a portrait, uh, starting from a photo like this and going to a photo like this. Um, it's really simple. It takes just a few minutes, but it teaches you a few cool tricks. So this is the uh, original photo, and we're going to go to this is our goal. So you see, I really brought it. I brought it uh, a lot of attention into the uh, the. Uh, you know the face, bring out the uh, the color, not the color, but the uh, the light, and uh, blur the background so that really your subject is in focus. All right, so I'm going to bring in my tools here. Uh, what I really need here, so you can see, I'm in a little collection, and I'm in the develop module in Lightroom. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a virtual copy of this, so we can start over, and. So what I'm going to do is add a radial filter by clicking here, and I'm going to go pretty large around him. Actually, the first thing I want to do, sorry, is go and make it black and white. Very simple. All right, go back to my radial filter and click on it. I want to go pretty large. All right, and in here I'm going to uh, feather it pretty strongly. And what I'm going to do is very simply on this uh, first one, Lower the clarity, actually, uh, yeah, lower the clarity, lower the sharpness, and I'm going to increase the feather so it's really more soft, so it's not quite as hard around here. And so you can see that I'm blurring everything around him. So that's the first step. All right, it's not strong enough. I can only go to minus 100 on both of these. So. Uh, what I do is I duplicate it and move it just to the side so that I know there's two. It's pretty close and I'm going to duplicate it again and bring it to the side. Now uh, I'm, I see that I'm closing in too close onto his face which means that my feather is a little too strong so I'm going to bring down the feather down to like 65 do that to all three of those here somewhere around 60 and that should uh, that should I want it a little blurry around here, but I don't really want it too blurry around uh, near his face. So that's pretty good. I already have uh, a pretty strong depth now. Uh, I'm going to create a uh, sorry another radial filter around his face, and this time I'm going to invert the mask because I'm going to affect the inside of this and a few things. So obviously he wasn't lit space is pretty dark. So I'm going to open up the shadows, bring down the highlights just a little bit, and then I'm going to open up by about half a step. All right, that's already pretty strong. I'm going to add a little bit of clarity, not too much because otherwise the shadows get too dark, and add a little bit of sharpness just to exaggerate the contrast of the blurry background, sharp foreground. Okay, and so that's a pretty good start. And uh, I, I do want to do a little bit of a um, more local adjustment, so I'm going to go ahead and make a new. I'm used to the old Photoshop that starts the selection in the top left corner. So I have another uh, radial filter here, and again, I'm going to open up the shadows just a little bit. Oh, I got to invert the mask, keep it on the inside here, open up the shadows a notch, maybe give it a little bit of clarity and open up the exposure just a touch, something like that. All right, not too much, right? Tiny bit of sharpness. And then I do another thing, which is, uh, which I do, this is really quick and dirty, but it works pretty well, uh, is I make a radio filter around his eye. Still selected, it's lagging just a little bit here. All right, invert the selection. I'm gonna open up the uh, exposure, and I know it looks weird right now, but give it a second add some clarity, add some sharpness, maybe even more exposure. I want the white of his eye to be really white, except you obviously don't want to see that. So very simply, increase the feather. 
Here we go. 100. It might be still a little bit. If it's still going a little too far, you just decrease the size just a, t just a tad. Something like that. That's not too bad. It's maybe a little too strong, so I'm at, I'm at one step. I'll go down to about half a step. Something like that. Pretty good. And duplicate that. Bring it over here. A little lower. Somewhere there. Pretty good. I could uh, open up just a little more in his face. I really want the light to be not too too strong, but I like that. And um, I could add some sharpness to this as well. Maybe a tiny bit of clarity. Clarity add, tends to add a little bit of contrast. So there you go. Uh, another really important thing is the crop. It has a very busy background. I took this actually at Disneyland. And um, I like, so I'm going to keep the uh, proportions right. I'm going to keep the uh, top left right by his eye and then move it over there. I can actually bring this down just a tad. Something like this. All right, let's see what that looks like. Pretty cool. Uh, I really like that effect. It really blurred everything. Even part of his arm is blurred, but it's cool. I really get the attention on his eyes. So one final little touch is uh, just to close in that photo uh, a little more is some post crop vignetting. So go down here to the effects and post crop vignetting. Just bring that down a little bit. Close the photo up a little, not too much. Uh, I like to go a little strong and then uh, feather it just a little more. So a little stronger and more feather. Maybe not too much, a little bit less. There we go. So that really helps kind of focus in on, the, on your subject. It did, did close in a little bit uh, around here because it's uh, perfectly centered, uh, but I really like that. All right, well, I hope you learned something in this quick uh, tutorial on adding depth to our portrait photo. If you like it, please share it and um, uh, leave a comment of uh, what you want in the next episode and share it on Facebook or Google+. It really helps me out. And I'll see you in the next episode.